this moment of your earth journey, I, I feel that this particular future vision of an indie ear could be helpful and inspiring. Please note the voice sounded like the voice of the experiencer herself. That's somehow different. My assumption is it could be her higher self. Here goes. The voice talked to me again. No judgment, no blame, soothing, sweetness, extraordinary tenderness, nothing else. I had the choice to go or to stay. As incredible as it seems, all depended upon my choice. She guided and helped me, that's all. I knew this too, as if I were on another plane of consciousness. You did not complete what you had to do yet. I knew it. I just answered. I did not know it would be so hard. Then the voice told me, Think to A, my husband, and to the children. I wanted to go to the voice. It was too hard for me, and life was far from being the paradise I had wished. There were too few joys for so much disappointment. Despite all the love I felt for my husband and my children, I did not want to go back. I really longed to join this stranger who had made herself known to me. I wanted to enter this whirlpool. I know where it was to lead me. Even if I forgot it all again, I knew everything then. I recalled I knew all about the life that expected me even before I was born. I must even say that when she talked about my mission, I knew I had myself decided about my life and I knew the most minute details of it. The voice knew my worries for earth, men, their madness, their foolishness too. Not seeing further than the end of their nose, despite all alert signs that earth is sending now. The voice said, you shall be helped. This comforted me, but it wasn't enough. She said, truth shall spread, men shall wake up. No, I still do not want. She insisted, Planet Earth shall be saved. 